Hello, welcome to this next Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at the uh, the asset library. So, uh, as somebody who makes a lot of assets and makes a lot of, say, glasses and tables and things that are, you know, <laughs> eminently repeatable, uh, I want to create a library of things that I can use, you know, uh, very quickly without having to do lots of simple steps all over and over and over again. So the asset library is the thing for us. So if I just drag this up, I'm going to change my viewport uh, here and go to asset browser. Now in the asset browser, I've got that on user library at the moment. If I put it to all, you'll see we've got some default assets. I'm in 3.5 uh, at the moment. So these are things that come uh, with it. Uh, but what I am interested in is my own. So if I go to my user library, uh, I've got nothing set up at the moment. You'll see I can click open preferences here or I can access through the edit preferences dialog up here. So under edit preferences, if I go to uh, file paths, let's make this a bit taller. You'll see I've got a user library and it's at that path. So I'm going to delete this one uh, because I want to move it. So let's delete that one and then click add. And now I want to uh, browse to my uh, E drive, essentially. Where is it? That's it. It's my nice, uh, <laughs> nice, big, fast external drive. And I want to create a new directory there. And I'll call it Blender Assets. Is my keyboard going to catch up? There we go. Blender Assets. And then add asset library. There we go. That should do the job. Okay, so sorry about that pause. My brain uh, just had a moment. Okay, so now what I can do is access this asset library and so store things in it to you know reuse and redo. So in the next sort of few sections, we'll create something and we'll add it to our asset library and see how things work. So I shall talk to you then. Okay, so I've made a couple of glasses and these are absolutely standard. I've made them to real world um, dimensions and sizes and there is absolutely no reason I should have to do that again. Now, let me just uh, tab into that. You'll see they're very low poly. Um, you know, there's not a lot in there. And I've done that because I want to be able to change it easily. So when I import these in, you know, I don't necessarily want to use the same glass that I've used a million times. You know, I can adjust them very easily just by you know, adding some cuts and doing a bit of reshaping and such like. Um, so that's that. No, so how? <laughs> How do I save these as an asset? So if I select one of these and then right click on it, I can mark as asset. And as you see, that's now appeared in my little asset browser down here. And we can do the same for this one. So where is it? Where's it gone? It was there a second ago. There it is. So now I've got two glasses in there. I've got my three ounce and my seven ounce. Not that I understand what an ounce is. Um, I'm British. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, and they can now be dragged and dropped into the into the system, into the scene. So, if I drag and drop it in, you'll see it conforms to the ground plane. It will even conform to other objects in the scene. And I drop it, and there we go. Uh, but this one isn't an asset. This is an actual model. Let me just delete that. Okay, so. These are in my browser now, but they're only in the browser because um, the file is open. So what I want to do is show you how to transfer these over to your actual library. If I go back to my Blender Assets library, you'll see they're not here. And they're not here uh, because we haven't saved the Blender file. And we need to save it into the right directory. So we'll do that in the next section. Okay, so global assets. 
to use this in uh, any blend file that I uh, that I start, uh, I need to make it global. And to do that, all we need to do is save it into the right place. Now, a little note: so most uh, 3D applications I've used, if I've saved an asset out, um, it's usually in some sort of um, you know single file option. So um, I would have a file for this big glass and a uh, file for this small glass and I would load them in individually and if I wanted to send them somebody I would send them those individual files but for Blender um, it's a blend file so you could do one blend file per asset which might be a bit over the top um, but in this case we're going to do one blend file for um, all of my glasses so what I'm going to do is delete this plane and I'm going to delete the camera and the light because there's no need for those to be saved within that scene. Uh, I'll call my collection glasses and we'll do a file save as. So it's file, save as, and then I need to go to my assets directory, which I popped on um, my E drive, and I'm going to call this glasses. So if I, you know, want to add another glass to my collection, I can simply open this file and add the glass, mark it as an asset, and job done. Uh, so let's click Save As. And now, as you can see, they've appeared in my Blender assets. If I go to All, they're still here, but that's the local Blender, uh, the local file. So if I go File and New and General and Oops, bring up my asset browser down here. They're still there, but they're not in the scene. They are in my other directory, my Blender Assets folder. There we go. So I can drag and drop those in, of course. Let's do that. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> it's, sorry, it's just so tidy. I... I expected it to be as big as the cube, but of course it isn't. The cube's two meters, and this is a real world, real size glass. It would be tiny. I thought I thought something had gone wrong then. <laughs> and let's drag our three ounce one in as well. And there we go. And they should be set up with their materials as well. So let me go for the shading. Yes, see, I added a glass material with the glass BSDF with a little bit of roughness on it. So there we go. Uh, let's go back to layout. So that's um, for a model asset. We need to have, uh, be able to do uh, shader assets as well, which we'll have a look at in the next section. Okay, so I've just set up a little scene that I can practice some textures on. And we're going to create a glass texture for this because you use glass all the time. And every time I remake it, and I don't want to do that anymore so i've got my cube selected what i'm going to use it on so i'm going to click new and i'm just going to name that glass and i'm going to do a specific glass um and it will be heavy flint there we go right so let's give myself some space here so I don't want the principal BSDF. What I want is the glass one. So if we right click, add and surge, and if I type BDSF, I should get a list of all my options. Uh, one of which will be glass. So very simple, just gonna plug that into the surface. And now we can see we have a glass BSDF. Now, what's the difference between this and a um, heavy flint? Well, Heavy Flint has a particular IOR of uh, 1.89. So if I update the IOR, 1.89, now it's a flint glass. And I've just set up all these other objects in here so I can just see how it's interacting and you know how it's looking. There we go. So how do we set a material as a uh, an asset? Well. If I come over here to the material properties and right click on the heavy flint, I can mark as asset. There we go. So now we know that's an asset. 
and of course now I need to save this because I want to reuse it so it's file save as and I'm already in my assets and I'll call this glass materials there we go and save now if I go back to my layout tab we can see in my asset browser I've got my glass heavy flint okay so that's that uh, I've only got a couple of assets here I know it's not very exciting but I just want to show you as a last thing in the next section um, just how to organize these a little bit because once you add and add and add we're going to end up with a lot of files and it's going to be annoying to manage okay so I'll talk to you then okay so next then I want to you know adjust my files I want to um, I don't want to adjust them what we're talking about I want to organize them I want to be able to you know have a library with folders so that I can go and find what I want easily now I can't do it from a standard file um, I have to do it from these two blend files so easy to do if you right click and open blend file and then make sure you've got current file selected and select unassigned and I'm going to click plus here to add a new catalog and in this catalog I can double click and I'm going to call this models and to further organize it I'm going to add another one under there called glasses so I can put all my standard glasses you know in the same place so if I go to unassigned I can now select these and just drag and drop them onto glasses and now they appear in glasses and not unassigned they'll still appear in all and they'll appear in models but specifically you know glasses <laughs> okay so let me save that and now I want to do the same for uh, my materials I seem to have a folder obscuring my view there so let's go to open that blend file so right click on the asset and open blend file let's go have a think about it and I want the yep yeah, that layout here <laughs> my model layout that's got the asset browser showing currently and I can then add a new catalog called uh, shaders whoops not a shafer and underneath that I'm going to add glass and then I'm going to drag my unassigned uh, glass material into that folder and then save it there we go so if I close this one and I should be able to, is which one's this I'll close this one as well there we go now I'm back to my uh, blend file for my glasses let's just go file and new general drag up my window switch over to the asset browser and now I can go to my blender assets go to models I'll see my models shaders I'll see my shaders and we're all ready to go I can just drag and drop that on there and nothing happens of course it doesn't let's switch that over to another view <laughs> there we go it, it has applied it's just i was in a flat shading view okay so uh there you go that's that that's a bit of the uh, asset browser i hope you found that useful i hope it was understandable if not if you want me to clarify anything please let me know in the comments below and i'll talk to you another time